Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Hello, sorry. Can you hear me, everyone? Yes, yes, yes. All right, how are you? Excellent, I'm excellent. Thank you so much for being in the class. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Okay, I can see only Tony. Only Tony has the camera on. And the rest of you, I want to see you guys. Come on. All right, I can see Henry. Hello, Henry, how are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. Welcome to the class. Who else? Who else? Oh, I can see Atilio. Hello, Atilio. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. Great. Welcome to the class. Very good. Good evening. Good evening. So welcome, everybody. I'm really happy to see you. And thank you so much for being on time. Tell me, how was your day? Uh-huh. It's everything all right? How was your day? Very busy. Very busy? Is that yeah. a Ah, okay. And the rest of you? How do you feel? The people with the camera off? How do you feel today? Fine. Very good. Carla is there. Very good. All right. Well, I hope that during the class, everybody participates, please. So this is the second class and I want to congratulate some people that I can see some people are working on the platform. Very good job, nice. I'm going to show you the progress because I can see some people already worked on the uh, platform on the first exercises. So that's the idea, okay? So very good. Now we are going to start today's class and I hope today, well, I try to set the configuration of the platform so you can share screen, okay? So I hope today we don't have any problem, okay? Well, let's start everybody. Welcome again to the class. Do you remember what was the topic that we studied yesterday? Yes, the use of can. Great. And can Excellent, very good. So we use can when we are talking about abilities. Okay, for example, can you tell me some of your abilities? Uh huh. What abilities do you have? I can speak Spanish and now I'm <laughs> learning English. Great, thank you, Tony. Nice. Who else? Tell me your okay. abilities. I, I we can aiding. And sleeping. <laughs> okay, thank you, Henry. Eight, eight sweet bread. All right. I, I but... can buy coffee. <laughs> ah, all right. <laughs> but I have a question. Can I say I can sleepy? Can I say that? Is that correct? What do you think? I can sleeping. What do you think? Is that correct? Sleep. Ah, sleep. Now, if I'm talking in third person, can I say she can sleeps? Yes or no? What do you think? Just sleep. Ah, just sleep. Remember, after the word can, the verb is in the base form. No changes, okay? In negative, can I say, I don't can? Can I say that? No. 
No. What is the correct one? I can't. That's the one. I can't. So remember, we don't need auxiliary. We say, I can't sleep. So, no auxiliary. If I want to ask a question, hmm, what do I need first? And? Exactly, very good. Can, for example, can you, uh -huh, give me a verb. Play basketball. Very good. Can you play basketball? Imagine in this case, what would be the answer if the answer is yes? Can I say just yes? Yes, I can't. That's the one. Very good job. Yes, I can. But if the answer is no, no I can't. That's the one. Great job. So basically, that was the topic that we studied yesterday. Affirmative, we just need can, and then the verb in the base form. Negative, we just need to add can't. If you want to ask a question, remember the word can goes at the beginning of the sentence. And don't forget to give the complete answer. Yes, I can or no, I can't. Okay, very good. I can see you remember. Excellent job. So today we are going to study another topic. So can everybody see the presentation? Yes. Excellent. So today is January 31st. We are in the week number one. This is the unit number one. And as I said before, I want to show you the progress on the platform. Look, in the week number one, there are some people that are working already. This is the progress. So some of you are already working, so great job, because that's the idea, that you work on the platform every day. Okay, so there are some people that they are very advanced and there are some others that they are working a little bit. So please, for the ones who haven't um, started, please work on the platform, okay? Remember that every Friday I upgrade your grades, okay? So it's important that you have your grades um, for Friday. Now, if you have questions about the platform, is if you have issues with the platform, tell me so I will help you, okay? Now, the topic that we studied yesterday, let's do a practice, but this is the topic that we are going to study today. How to use would be and could be. Those are the verbs that we are going to study today. I need a volunteer for reading the class objective, please. Uh huh. Volunteer for reading the objective. Thank, Thank class you. Class objectives. Oh. Sorry. Go ahead. Okay. Thanks. And class objective at the end of the class participant. We'll talk about benefits they will, could bring to a company. Thank you. So that is what we are going to be talking about. Okay. We are going to use would and could. And we are going to talk about the benefits that you present to your company. But first, let's review the vocabulary that we learned yesterday. For example... If I type very fast without looking at the keyboard, what is the name of that action? Do you remember? Touch type. Good job. Excellent. Everybody, please, every new word, write it down because the idea is to learn new vocabulary. Now, do you remember what is the name? of this 
spreadsheet. Good job. Exactly. Nice. One of your classmates mentioned this action. So how can I say this in English? It's so or so. So that's the one. Very good job. So this is one of the vocabularies that we studied yesterday. So please, if you didn't memorize it, write it down and try to remember. Okay? Nice. So question, can you touch type? What would be the answer? Can you touch type? Everybody? Yes, I can. Very good. And the rest of you, can you touch type? Yes, I can a little bit. All right, nice. Now, everybody, can you use spreadsheets? Yes, I can. Ah, very good, excellent. And the rest, can you use every, spreadsheets? Every day. Oh, very good. Excellent. Now, can you sew? No, no I can't. I can't. No, I can't. How about no, your can't. how about your mom? Can your mother sew? Yes, she can. Yes, um, she can. That's the one. Excellent. I think, job. I think she can. Mm, very good. <laughs> Excellent. Nice job. So that's the idea. Let's practice vocabulary. So we are ready to remember the structure. Okay. And let's practice a little bit can and can't. Now, for this activity, we are going to answer this question. <laughs> Do you feel stressed at work? What do you think? Yes or no? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and the rest of you, do you feel stressed at work? Yes, no, yes. a little bit, yes. a lot. <laughs> we, we feel so much stress. Oh my gosh, okay. Now, I need a volunteer for reading the next question. Me? Yes, go ahead. What can you do to relieve stress level? Thank you. Okay, can you give me ideas? What can you do to reduce the stress levels? What do you think? Teacher, mm -hmm. what the meaning? Relieve. All right, relieve. Relieve is like reduce, like eliminate the stress levels. How can you reduce the stress? That's the meaning of relieve. So for example, uh-huh. I take a few minutes to stand up, uh, drink, uh, take uh, water, uh, okay. walk, that's good. So and let's let's a, use take a coffee. Very good. So we can say, ah, you can take a break, take a cup of coffee, you can walk. What else? You can practice some sport after work. Very good. That's a great idea. Any other one? I can use listen to music. Very good. You can listen to music. You can study English. <laughs> All right. I have a question. Do you feel stressed at your English class? Let's instead of work, we are going to change. We're going to say English class. Do you feel stressed? Sometimes. <gasps> really? No way. <laughs> And the rest of you guys, do you feel stressed at an English class? Sometimes. Sometimes. Oh my gosh. Okay. I hope you don't feel stressed. Okay. I don't want you to feel stressed in the English class. I want you to feel relaxed. Okay. 
So if you feel stressed, tell me, teacher, I feel stressed and I will try to help you. Okay, nice. This is the way that we can use can, always. Now, I have some questions for you. And these are some questions that I want you to discuss with your classmates. What do you think? Who is more stressed at work? You or your partner? Let's complete the question. Number one. Work without drinking coffee. We need to complete the question using can you. So the question will be, can you work without drinking coffee? So everybody, yes or no? What do you think? Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay, so in this case, you can say for me, for me, yes. for me. Yes, I can. Perfect. Now, if your classmate says no, you can say no, he can't. Okay. Teacher. Yes. With bread. With bread. Coffee. <laughs> yes. Uh, so you need coffee and bread. With yes. bread. <laughs> yeah, me too. Definitely. <laughs> Now, what will be the second question? Volunteer for reading? The complete question. Uh -huh. Can, Can you? you take a full lunch break? Excellent. So lunch break. Think about your job. When you are at work, can you take a full lunch break? Or you have to eat very fast? You have just some minutes? So what do you think? Yes, you can or not? <laughs> oh, my you don't want to see. My, my boss ah, is here. Ah, the boss is here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, we are going to invent the answers. I see you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, let's imagine we are going to say yes. I can, <laughs> and we can add sometimes, okay? So sometimes you can, but sometimes maybe you can't, okay? And you have to write your classmates' answer. So you have to ask your classmate, hey, how about you? Can you take a full lunch break? And your classmates will answer yes or no. So at the end of all these questions, we are going to identify who is more stressed at work, you or your partner. Is it clear the activity, everyone? Yes? Yes. Okay, I'm going to send yeah. this uh, picture to WhatsApp's group and um, I really hope today you can share screen. I fixed it, so I hope everybody can do it, okay? So there it is. Uh, can you see the picture? Yes? I already sent it on WhatsApp's group. So we are going to be working in teams, everybody. If you are alone or nobody is answering, let me know so I can switch you and you can work with somebody else. Is everybody ready? Yes? Yes. Excellent. Okay, so let's go to work. Oh, by the way, remember <laughs> during the breaking rooms, let's try to avoid Spanish, okay? Full, full English. All right, let's go to work. Hello, good evening.
Hello. Your microphone, Carla, is off. Oh, perdón. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Eh, um, we can start with the questions. Hola. Hello. Hello. Okay, so Carla, ask the first question and Edwin answer. Um, Kenya, Elizabeth, are you there? Hello, teacher. Yes, teacher, I'm sorry I'm late. I don't know what is the activity, but I'm going to participate. Excellent, that's the idea. Um, the questions are on WhatsApp's group. So in this case, there are three people. So Carla, ask the question. Kenya and Edwin answer. Then Edwin ask the second question. Carla and Kenya answer and so on and so on. Okay? Hey. Okay, go ahead. I start. Uh, can you can you work without drinking coffee? Uh, no, I can't. You uh, yes, yes, I can because I don't like to drink coffee. <laughs> okay, Elwin, ask the next question. Uh, okay, teacher, uh, can you take a full lunch break? In my case, case, yes, I can. And you can? Yeah? No, I can't. The other question, can you leave the office before 6 p.m.? Yes, I can. Oh. Yes, I can. Uh, e you? Me, too. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. I can live without coffee. Mm -hmm. Okay, no problem. Then I... how, how, sorry to interrupt you. How about lady? Lady, can you uh, can you work without coffee? Yes, I can. Ah, all right. No, le escuché. Yes, I can. You. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yes, I can. Okay. Next question. Go ahead. Uh, uh, teacher, teacher, teacher. I have a question. Go is ahead. correct? Is correct the 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 sentence without drink coffee or without drinking coffee? In this case, is drinking because we have the word without. Always, when you have the word without, the next verb is in ing. Okay. With the with the phrase without. Yes, exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Drinking. Okay. Y aquí tengo que poner la de la de lady. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Next one. Okay, the next. Can you take a full lunch break? You take a full lunch break. Miss Yes, I can. can yes, I can. Break? Yes, you can. Okay. <laughs> Uh, means something yes, something no. It's depend on. Um, I can't. Uh, 
And the next, can you leave the office before say, 6 p.m.? <laughs> Tilo, oh. can, you, can you leave on the Monday? <laughs> Ah, I'm not Tony. Can you leave? <laughs> it's so funny. Full <laughs> time. So how about Carol? Carol? Can you leave the office before six PM? No. <laughs> <laughs> Never. <laughs> and and Henry? It's uh is then normally. So you usually you, you can you can it's, leave the office at six PM. You usually leave after six PM. Oh after okay. 7 PM, after eight PM. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, very late. Okay, all right. So continue, please. You're doing a good job. Okay. Carol, you can say no. In my case, no. No, I can. In me, Seria, yes, I can. Yes, you can. Okay. Okay, next. Can you, Can you Oh, sorry. Me or you? You. Can you sleep more the 17 hour? Um, no, I can. I sleep four hours every day. <laughs> To, a, to a 11 hours every day. 11? Sí. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yes, he can. Okay, practice. Number one, can you work without drinking coffee? Yes, I can. Okay, yes, I can. Yes, he can. Next. Aha, uh -huh. did you finish? Yes, miss. All right, so let's see. Hmm. Can you sleep more than seven hours? Yes, I can. All right. That's I would like it, but I can't. <laughs> how, many, how many hours do you sleep? In Saturday. Oh, on Saturdays, you sleep seven hours. During the week, from Monday to um, Friday? No, no, I can't. Okay. I mean, How many hours do you sleep? Um, Fifty hour. Fifty? Fifty? I mean, every day. For example, on Monday, six hours, eight hours, five hours. How many um, hours do you seven sleep? Seven hours. Seven, mm, okay. Seven or six sometimes. Ah, all right. So Karen, how about I, you? I'll get around uh, seven. Okay, seven. so early. Mm, okay. And how about leave the office before 6 p.m.? Can you? Mm, yes, I can. Okay. Yes, I can. Excellent. So what do you think, guys? Who is more stressed? Karen or Ezekiel? Hmm. Who is more 
stressed. Who is more stressed at work? According to the answers, what do you think? Both <laughs> is the same or Karen or Ezekiel? Who is more stressed? Um, no, I can. I relax. Ah, so you feel relaxed at work? Ezekiel, how about you? Do you feel relaxed or stressed at work? Um, I think it's stress, teacher. Stress, all yeah. right. I, it was a I hard day. I think the... Okay. <laughs> Just breath and, and try to relax. Okay, nice job. We are going to go back to the main room right now, okay? Okay. Let's go back. Very good. Okay, time's up. We are going to wait for the rest of your classmates. All right, all right. Time's up. Okay, let's wait for everyone. How was the practice? Was it easy or difficult? It's funny. <laughs> funny, huh? Interesting answers, huh? All right, let's see. We are going to analyze some answers. What happens is that there is a problem because there is a boss here oh, in the class, huh? <laughs> okay three bosses three bosses oh my goodness okay bosses please don't get angry <laughs> in this moment let's ignore that you are the bosses okay well let's see mm, i'm going to ask individually let's start with luis miguel okay luis in your Seven. group um what did your classmates say can they work without drinking coffee? Um, let me see. Only Abigail and me, este, we can work without coffee. All right. Juan, Juan and the, another Juan and, and Jorge? Jorge, uh-huh. They, they can't. Know. They can't. <laughs> coffee is important yeah, yeah definitely it's vitamin <laughs> okay thank you Luis let's see in another mm. team uh, da, 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 Celia okay Celia what happens to your classmate can your classmate take a full lunch break every everyone Yes. 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 <laughs> ah, so everybody can. Hmm. Yes. That's great. Excellent. Lunch is important too. Very good. How about ooh, this team? Let's ask to Atilio. <laughs> Atilio, tell me about your group. Can your classmate leave the office before 6 p.m.? Um. Usually, 6 p.m. Usually, yes, they can leave work at 6 p.m. Yes. All right, okay. Let's... He said the truth. <laughs> he said the truth. He said the truth. It's false. It's false. <laughs> uh -huh. A boss, come on, let them leave the office before 6 p.m. <laughs> okay. Honey. <laughs> All right, interesting. Let's see another team. Mm. Carlos, Carlos Alberto, what happens in your team? Can your classmates stay calm under pressure? Over, please. Can your classmates stay calm under pressure? Mm, yes, I, I can. Okay, and your classmates? Mm, English. Okay, 
But let's see, your classmates were Abigail and Stephanie. Abigail Mejia, can you, can you stay call under pressure? Yes, I can. All right, very good, very good. And Stephanie, Stephanie, are you there? Or I think that she didn't, right? Okay, let's see another team. Karen, Rocio, tell me about your classmates. Um, can your classmate work flexible hours? Yes, uh, I can. You can, and your classmate? Yes, I can. Mm, okay, nice. Okay, let's see, the last team, Edwin. Edwin, tell me about your classmates. Can your classmates sleep more than seven hours? Uh, my classmates, uh, <laughs> they, they, they <laughs> they can't or they, they can't. can't they can't <laughs> ah, all right in my case uh, yes i can okay very good <laughs> very good i was listening to the groups very nice job excellent because i was listening full english so that's great congratulations nice job that's the idea Okay, that you practice a lot. Now, um, before continue, I need um, to check attendance. So remember, when you listen to your names, say present. Abigail Mejia. Present. Very good. Uh, Andrea Amalia Garcia. Andrea Amalia Garcia. Okay, Atilio Ernesto. Atilio Ernesto Castillo. Eileen. He's here, right? I mean. Yes, yes. Okay. It's a meeting uh, in the break room. Yes, yeah, that's true. Okay, Blanca Elizabeth Hernandez. It's me, Caro. Blanca Elizabeth Hernandez, yes. No. Um, Brandon Josué Zavala. Okay. Carlos Alberto Castro. Present, Miss. Thank you. Celia Cristina Choto. Present. Very good. Hector Iván Pérez. Okay. Henry Alberto Pérez. I'm here. Very good. Jorge Antonio Sanchez. Present, did you? Thank you. Jorge Jonathan Burgos. Jorge Jonathan. Okay. Jose Ezequiel Guzman. Present, did you? Thank you. Juan Antonio Elias. Present, teacher. All right. Juan Jose Herrera. Present, teacher. Very good. Karen Rocío López. Present. Thank you. Um, Carla Sofía Argueta. Present. Very good. Carol Elizabeth Escalante. Present. Kenia Elizabeth Rodríguez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Lady Xiomara Chicas. Present, teacher. All right. Luis Miguel Corvera. Um, Corvera. Corvera, present. Thank you. Nelson Orlando Tejada. He leave the, the class. Ah, okay. Salvador Ernesto Lopez. All right. Uh, let's see, let's see. Sandra Abigail Bonilla. Present. Thank you. Stephanie Michel. Present. Uh, thank you. And Jan Siquelita Olivares. Present. Very good. Jose Marvin Orantes. Hi, teacher, present. All right. And Edwin Enrique Garcia. 
Listen, teacher. Thank you. Okay, very good. Excellent, sure. everybody. Teacher, I think yeah. it's disconnected. Try to connect again. Ah, uh, oh, okay, okay. Yes, I can see the chat. Thank you. Okay, let's continue. Now we already practice can and can't. Do you have any question about that topic or it's totally clear? Okay, if you don't have questions, let's move on to the next topic for today. The topic is would be and could be. How can we use this topic? What is the meaning? So that is what we are going to learn today, okay? Would be and could be. So before starting, we are going to practice this conversation. Um, this conversation is in your manual in the page 11. By the way, I already sent the uh, manual on WhatsApp's group. Okay, so you can access to the manual on WhatsApp's group, but also the manual is on the platform. Okay, so you can check the manual, please, so you can study the topics. So let's practice the conversation. I need two volunteers for reading. So who wants to read? Me. Thank you, Abigail. You will be Andre. I need another volunteer, please. Me, teacher. Kenya? Yes? Yes. You will be Kurt. Okay, let's start reading. Go ahead. Kurt, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable, sir, with my experience. I can say this will be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, can you bring to this com company as an empo employee? I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. Um, it sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. Very good. Thank you, girls. So, what is the pronunciation of this word? What do you think? Comfortable. All right. We're going to say comfortable. Repeat, everyone. Comfortable. 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 So, how comfortable do you feel working in sales area? Okay. Comfortable, comfortable. So imagine if I ask you, everybody, do you feel comfortable in your work? Uh -huh. Do you feel comfortable? What is the meaning of comfortable? What is the meaning? Este... Comfortable? Yes, that you feel Como. good. Exactly. It's very nice. You feel good. Excellent. So I have another vocabulary here. It says I will be a great asset. Hmm. What is asset? What do you think? Any idea? Activos. Exactly, very good. So asset is like a benefit, okay? It's like a resource, a, something positive, okay? That is asset. So when we are talking experience, for example, experience is an asset because it's something positive. Now, according to the reading, Hmm, let's check this question. What would be some benefits of having Kurt in the company? What do you think? Is he a good employee? Yes or no? What do you think? Uh, 
Ajá. According to the reading, is he a good employee or not? Yes. Yes, he is. Because imagine, Kurt, he has experience, right? So he has experience. He is a great asset for the company. And he can use the experience to do a great job, okay? In the conversation, if you see, we are using would be and could be. So how can we use this verb in our daily life? Okay, let's see these questions. Volunteer for reading, the number one, please. Volunteer for reading, the first question. Me teacher. Thank you, go ahead. <clears throat> what, what specific benefits do you provide to your company? Name at uh, last three. Thank you. Okay, think about you as employees. What benefits do you provide to your company? For example, imagine you can say very well, I am very responsible, okay? What else? Ah, teacher, I am always on time. That is a benefit that you provide to your company. What else? Can you mention another benefit that you provide to your company? I try to give the extra mile. Very good. That's a good one. What else? Another benefits that you provide? I, I don't know because, um, for example, I have two, 20 years old of the experience in this area. area. Very good area very good so you have a lot of experience that's great another one if 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 it is a necessary work in a holiday ah very good so you can work extra hours all right Imagine, so you are providing a lot of benefits to your company. Excellent. Now- I can use my creativity. Okay. I can use creativity. And you know what? That is very important. With creativity, you can resolve many issues. Nice. And girls, I didn't listen to girls. Aha, uh -huh, girls. Can you tell me some of the benefits that you provide to your company? Only boys answered. Hmm, what about girls? So the extra points will be for the boys. <laughs> All right. Now, do you consider everyone that experience is important in a job? Yes or no? Absolutely, yes. yes. So imagine if you are the boss, will you hire someone with experience or without experience? Mm, depend. Depend on the person? Yes. All right, so why experience is important? Can you tell me, everyone? Depend the industry. Mm -hmm. For example, imagine in your job, you need to have the experience to do the job correctly. Very good. So in this moment, I want you to think that you have a lot of benefits that you provide a lot of benefits to your company. Now let's combine that topic with grammar. How can we use would be and 
could be. When do we use these phrases? Volunteer for reading, please. Uh -huh. Volunteer for reading this part? Me. Yes, go ahead. Use will be, will be when you want to give the impression of possibility in the future. future. Thank you. Excellent. So we have to use would be or could be when you want to talk about possibilities. Okay, possibilities in the past, in the present, or in the future? Future. Correct. Yeah, future. And what is the structure the that you need to follow? First, I need the subject. subject. Then I need the phrase would be, and then the complement. I will be a great Asset. Analyze the sentence. What do you think? What will be the translation? I would be a great asset. What do you think? What would be the translation? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Me gustaría un, un como buen, no sé, un beneficio, ascenso. Uh -huh. Un buen beneficio, un buen activo. O, como, o aporte. Ser un, buen... un buen aporte, un gran aporte. That's correct. So, yo sería un gran beneficio, un gran Aporte. Very good. Now, instead of would, we can use could. For example, I could be of great help in sales department. What will be the translation for this sentence? Podría ser de buena ayuda en el departamento de eventos. Excellent. So, look at the difference. Would be, the translation is like, sería. And could be, is, in this case, is like, podría ser. All right? So, sería y podría. Exactly. So, yo podría ser a great help. So, why is this topic important? Imagine that you are in an interview and I ask you this question. Why should I hire you? Why? Why should I give you the job? Why you should be in my company? Why you and not somebody else? So what can you say? Ah, I would be what? Or, ah, I could be... Da, 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 da. Can you give me ideas? Why should I hire you? Why should I give you the job? Complete the sentences using would be or could be. Can you give me ideas, please? Mm. For example, <laughs> ah. I will, I will be the, the perfect person for the job. All right, I could, I will be the perfect person for the job. Hmm, that sounds a good sentence. What else, everybody? Another idea? I would be, or I could be. Let me think. All right. Think everyone, why should I hire you? Imagine that in your company needs a, a new manager and they will give you more money. So why should you be the new manager? Why you? Ah, because I could be what? 
Can I say I because I could be very <laughs> irresponsible? Can I say that? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we need to say something positive. I so, be... <laughs> uh huh. Dun, dun, dun. I could be. I could be a terrible employee. No. I will be always late. <laughs> no, right? You have to think something positive. So you can say, I could be the most responsible employee. Oh, I will be always on time. Ah, because I could be in the office until very late. I will be working <laughs> on holidays, right? So when you want to talk about possibilities in the future, we use would be and could be. Okay, so copy the examples, please, or take a screenshot if you want. So you can remember the structure and the meaning. Copy the examples, please, or take a screenshot. And then we're going to continue. Very good, excellent. Everybody ready? Yes. Ready. No, teacher. Wait, wait a moment, please. Okay. Oh, somebody send it on WhatsApp's group. Thank you. Very nice. Excellent. So always take notes, please. So you can remember the topic. And if you check the group on WhatsApp's group, there is the manual. So is the PDF file so you can read it and try to study a little bit. Okay, can I move everybody? Yes? Yes, yes. Okay, let's continue then. Now let's ask and answer this question. Volunteer for reading. What it will be like to travel to China? All right, let's answer this question following the structure. Remember, I need the subject, would or could, then I need the verb to be. Remember, in this way, we need the verb in the base form and a complement. So what it will be hmm, to be in China? For example, it will be difficult because I don't speak Chinese. <laughs> what else? What it will be to be in China or to travel to China? It will be difficult because I don't have money. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's a nice example. What else? Everybody, can you give me sentences? You can use would be or could be. What do you think? It will be mm -hmm, or it could be. Uh-huh. What do you think? It could be fascinating. Fascinated? Yes. Fascinated. Why? To China. To China. <laughs> okay. So, oh, it could be fascinating because it's the culture, right? It's a very interesting country. What else? Do you think that it will be safe or dangerous? Mm -hmm. Dangerous. Dangerous? <laughs> For COVID. <laughs> Why? For COVID. Oh, very good. <laughs> really? Yes. Probably, that, that's a good probably point. Probably they, they eat it. Why <laughs> for the place? Uh, All right. Maybe they can eat you. Mm, well, <laughs> I won't say yes, but I won't say no. <laughs> that's a good point. So, would you like to travel to China, everyone? It could be interesting for food. Ah, very good. No. Food could be delicious, right? Mm -hmm. 
it, it will be, be uh -huh. it will be beautiful uh, because i want to know the great wall oh very good yes that's a very beautiful attraction mm -hmm. so it would be expensive or cheap what do you think the, the, oh, the, expensive. Uh, in the culture and other things is cheaper all right sounds good so if you see we are talking about possibilities just about a certain possibility it in future be, okay it could be cheaper it could be cheaper principally in the food okay uh, it will be um expensive the travel tickets okay yes that's true nice points so imagine and always remember if you're talking about possibilities in the future so something that you are not very sure so you can use would be or could be because are you a hundred percent sure about this not really it's just a possibility okay so imagine for example if i say Think about the exam. <laughs> How will be the exam? You can say, ah, it will be easy. That's a possibility. Or you can say, no, it will be difficult. Okay? So possibilities about the future. Now, I want to everybody discuss about it. So I have prepared some questions and please everybody try to give your point of view. But first, before the questions, we have this exercise is on your manual, page 12. Uh, let me open it into the manual. Okay, in the page 12, here we got some sentences. I need a volunteer for reading the instructions, please. The instruction? Yes. On creating the word to form sentence. Thank you. Sentences. Unscramble. Unscramble. Do you know what is the meaning for unscramble? No. Everyone? The, the, no. Es como... Puzzle. It's like put in order, okay? Unscramble is disorder, so you need to put the words in order. So we are going to do this exercise individually. I want you to do it in your notebook, all right? And then we are going to check the answers. So for example, look at the first sentence says, great study would be abroad. It's opportunity to, ah, <laughs> it's a totally disorder. So what do I need first to create a sentence? What is the first word that I need? It's. I need the subject, exactly. So I will say it. And after that, what do you think? It will be. It will be, uh-huh. A great. A great, uh-huh. What else? Opportunity. Study. Opportunity. O opportunity, okay. Study. To study. Oh, abroad. Abroad, okay. What is the meaning of abroad? In el extranjero. Exactly, in another country. So if you see, you already unscrambled the first sentence. So that is exactly what I want you to do, okay? I will give you five minutes to complete these sentences in your notebooks, and then I will be asking individually what the answer is, okay? You have five minutes, complete the exercise in your notebook. If you have a question, please let me know.
If you have a question, just let me know, please. Let me know when you finish. Two more minutes. If you have a question, just let me know, please. Remember, follow the order. Try to put the words in the correct order. All right, did you finish, everybody? Yes or no yet? Yes. Yes, the rest of not you? Yet, teacher. No yet? Okay, I will give you more time. Go ahead, go ahead. If you have a question or if there is a word that you don't know the meaning, so please tell me, I will help you. Complete the sentences. I want to everybody please do the exercise.
Uh -huh. Did you finish? Are you ready, everyone? Yes, everybody ready? Hmm. Okay, I think you're not ready yet. Okay, I will give you one extra minute and then we're going to check the answers, okay? So let's see, one more minute. If you have a question, just let me know, please. I want to everybody do the exercise on your notebooks, please. All right, let's see the answers. In the number two, what do you think? What is the correct order for this sentence? Volunteer? Me. Uh-huh, go ahead. Our employee uh -huh. could be beneficial for a training. Hmm, all right. So she says, our employees could be beneficial for a training. Interesting. Do you agree, everybody? Or is any other one who has a different answer? I have the other. Okay, tell me. A training could be beneficial for one for our employees. All right, so look at this. Actually, that's the correct one. A training, all right, could be beneficial for our employees. So if you translate the sentences, right, you see that it has like a little bit more logic. The training is beneficial for the employees. Right? Nice. Now, in the number three, what do you think? What is the correct sentence in the number three? Me. Yes, go ahead. Another benefit will be working less hours. Okay, everybody, do you agree? Another benefit would be working less hours. What do you think? Do you have the same answer or do you have a different one? I think I have another different, uh, a different, another Let's benefit see. will be less hours working. Hmm, okay, okay. Somebody else? Uh, how about me? Less less hours will be benefit and no better working. <laughs> All right, okay. You see, I mean, the idea is that you are trying and that's what I want, okay? Super good because you are trying, I like it. Anybody, another idea? I have another. Yes, go ahead. Be another benefit working this hour. Mm, all right. So look, we have different ideas. Very nice. Now, Is this is, yes? Working less hours will be, espérame que no la you. Will be a benefit. Okay, all right. Well, I will tell you the answer is working less, oops, hours would be another benefit. So 
If you say, for example, um, another benefit will be working less hours, it's also correct because it's also uh, understandable. So if you change the order, it makes sense too. Okay, so if you say, ah, another benefit will be working less hours, it sounds good too, okay? Now, in the number four, hmm, what do you think? What answers do you have in the number four? A weekend of would be good option to have happy stuff. Okay, any other? Do you have another idea or do you agree with that one? Weekends off will be a good option to have a happy staff. All right. What is the meaning of weekends off, everybody? Uh -huh. Fines de semana libres. All right. Very good. So weekends off would be... Oops, sorry. Would be a good option to have happy stuff. Okay? So, weekends off would be a good option to have a happy stuff. Very nice. Creo que falta una, teacher. Um, where? Después de have. To have, oh, yeah, sorry. To have a happy staff. Thank you. <laughs> All right. And the last one. Hmm. What do you think? Maria could be of great help in the inventory department. All right. Maria could be of great. Uh huh. Help in the inventory department. Okay. Do you agree, everybody? What do you think? Yes. Definitely. Very good job. So, if you see, it's kind of simple to try to identify the correct order. Similar to this exercise can be on the platform too. Yes? Um, ayer yo estaba llenando esa y la escribí así. Uh, La número cuatro y no, no me la, no me la aceptaba. No sé ahí qué pasó. Me neither. I have the same issues. Ajá. Mm, ok. Y sí, cuando le di ahí, ¿verdad? No me la, no me la agarraba. Salía como que estaba errónea. Ok, let's see. I'm going to check that exercise on the platform after the class. Okay. And I will see if it is a mistake of the platform or I want to see what the problem is. And I will check it so I will try to fix it. Okay, if the answer is correct, I will give you the points. So I will verify the platform after the class. Okay, very good. Okay. Okay, so everyone, very good with the exercise. Remember the important thing is to practice and try. So I hope everybody Try the exercise. Now we already practice writing. Let's practice speaking because that's the idea that you speak. So I have here some questions about possibilities in the future, and I want you to answer. For example, how will cell phones be in the future? Hmm. Imagine in 20 years, how the cell phones will be. You can answer using could or you can use would. So for example, do you think that the cell phones will be smaller or bigger? Will be cheaper or would be expensive? What do you think? How could cell phones be in the future? Uh huh. Any idea? With holograms. <laughs> All right. So the cell phones could be with holograms. Yeah, that could be it's a possibility. Another one. Another idea. 
the cell phones could be like a chip inside of the body. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, maybe I wouldn't like it, but yeah, maybe. <laughs> what else? Another idea how the cell phones could be in the future? More expensive. <laughs> so the cell phones will be more expensive. Well, yeah, could be. Now, second question, volunteer for reading. Okay, how Tony. Cool, how could El Salvador be like in 100 years? All right, think about the future. Imagine El Salvador in 100 years. Oh, what will happen to El Salvador? El Salvador would be, hmm, or El Salvador could be, what do you think? More dangerous <laughs> or safe? I think that people use Bitcoin. <laughs> okay, people. Very good. All right, we'll be using Bitcoin. <laughs> okay, what else? What will happen to El Salvador? Um, I think that El Salvador will be more developing. More developed, okay, sounds good. Yes. Any other idea? What happened to people in El Salvador? People will be happier or not? We will be, or El Salvador could be richer or poorer. What do you think? More money, less money? What will happen yeah. in 100 years? Maybe that people could try a fly car. Okay. <laughs> We never know, oh, all right. Now, the next question, what would it be like to be famous? What do you think? Imagine that you are a famous person. So what it will be like? It will be great or it will be sad. It will be funny, interesting. What do you think? What would it be like to be famous? Any idea? I think it will be uncomfortable. Mm, why? Because if I famous, everybody can <clears throat> talk to me or take a picture or something like that. That's Vivacity. true. Exactly. That's true. So it will be a little bit invasive you won't have privacy that's true all right so those are the questions i want to everybody practice we are going to go to the breaking rooms again and i want to everybody answer these questions the idea is answer this question using the structure try to use could be or would be Okay, and please, as always, remember, try to speak full English. I don't want to listen to Spanish. If your classmate doesn't understand the question, well, try to explain them, but in English, not in Spanish. I already sent the picture on WhatsApp's group two. We are going to practice. We are going to have only five minutes for this activity. Okay, and the idea, please, everybody, go to the breaking rooms. I could see some people didn't enter to the breaking room, so mm -mm, everybody try to do it. Is everybody ready? Yes? Okay, let's go to work.
Hello. Hello, mister. How are you? I'm okay. Nice. Nice. Great nice to see you again. I'd like to see you again, too. Okay. In this moment, I try to complete the platform. Okay. What what I had to do? What I had to do? Would you repeat that again, please, Mister? This uh, this exercise is in the platform. Exercise in the platform. Yes, but in this moment, I want you to answer the questions. The questions yes. that I sent on WhatsApp's group. That's okay. what you need to do in this moment, okay? Okay. Okay, miss. Okay, go ahead. And I think that Luis in, is in the group too. So everybody ask and answer the questions. Yes. It's funny, my, my brother is here in my house. He lives in the United States. <laughs> he is <laughs> believed. He, he speaks more English. Ah, so he can uh, listen to you. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, no, no, no. Nah, come on, you can do it, you can do it. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Let's start with the number one. Let me see the markings. Uh, how, oh. how cool cell phone be in the future? <clears throat> that one? That one? Yeah, for yes. me. Yes. Could be very expensive. I think it'd be very tiny. Yeah, it's possible. Macro. I don't think that a big, a big uh, cell phone like a twenty. <laughs> ¿Cómo se dice pulgadas en inglés? Inch. Inch. Inches. Inches. Se me olvidó. Inches. Yeah. Probably, probably is be expensive. Yeah. With How tall will travel will be like 100 years? In Salvador? Yeah. I think uh, we have a less screen. Areas, yes, a less green areas, um, huge buildings. I hope that the most security, yes, probably in the future, you'd have robbery, you'd have. The next one, what could the weather or weather be for tomorrow? I sing the most song. What did you say? I'm sorry. Soon. Soon. Sorry. Sorry. Yes, maybe. What your dream job would be like? Okay. My dream job will be like a, a flyer, or, or I don't know how to say. Um, when I, you can fly a, uh, I don't know how to say it. ¿Cómo se dice, teacher? So, what... Pilot, a pilot. Oh, okay. Pilot. So yeah. my dream job will dream. be the be pilot. A pilot. The exactly. Pilot. Okay, that's the answer. Thank you. Okay. And what about you? What your dream job will be like? I, I dream not work. 
<laughs> All right, that's that's a very interesting one. So, don't work is your dream job. <laughs> okay, okay, I like that. I like that. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. We are finished, teacher. Okay, excellent. I'm going to check one more group and then we are going to go back to the main room, okay? Okay. Very good. Uh -huh. Did you finish? Oh, no, yet. Oh, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We, we begin. <laughs> oh, okay. Quickly, please, because we don't have a lot of time. Go ahead. Okay. Okay, the next. How cool next. does Salvador be like in 100 years? I think the people now two languages, for example, Spanish and English. Can you repeat? Every people. I think could, could be. be the people speaking two languages. Yes. Every people. <laughs> um, the country more endeudado, no sé cómo se diría. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for a teacher. No, I no here I am. Teacher, how do you say endeudado? Indebted. 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 Okay. Indebted. Mm -hmm. I think could be the country more indebted. <laughs> uh huh. What else? How do you say in in the well? Indebted. I'm going to send it in the chat so you can see it. Okay, I already sent it in the chat. Is is I in in debted in debted okay 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 I think that the time is not going to be enough because most of the teams already finished I'm going to check another team and then we are going to go back to the main room okay okay Okay. And you, Atilio, what do you think? Um, Salvador could, could have three floor street. Pardon? Oh. Could be? Could be. El Salvador we have three floor street. Uh -huh. Podría tener calles de tercera planta. <laughs> calles de tercera planta. Have. have could be. Country, full street. We can say could be um, different levels. Instead of like if you want to say like floors, you can say levels. Highways with different levels, mm -hmm. or oh, with three levels. <laughs> All right. Oh, Highway. Uh -huh. uh, 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 Highway with different, with mm -hmm. multiple, multiple yeah. levels. Good, good, good. Okay. What would 
it be like to be famous? Well, eso significa que que like uh, Shakira or like uh, no, an artist no. like uh, um, a superstar <laughs> or like uh, Najib Bukele uh, you'll be all famous re recognized around the world recognized around the world so imagine if you are famous how would you feel how would it be would you like it? Ah, it will be great. Or, oh, it will be terrible. People could be around me all the time. So what do you think? It will be good or mm -mm, it will be negative? Negative. <laughs> Why? <laughs> so... Be famous, it will be negative. Okay, why? Uh, because many people, eh, many people will see you. Mm -hmm, okay, on the uh, I do, I was no. Everybody will see what you do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's true. And Tony, for you, it will be positive or negative? <laughs> I think that all have a positive um, face. Uh -huh. um, um, it could be great because I live in Hollywood. I don't know. Okay, all right. Well, because of the time, we are going to stop here and we are going to go back to the main room, okay? okay. Let's go back. Time's up, time's up. All right, everyone, time's up. Let's go back, let's go back. Interesting answers. Oh my goodness. Okay, we are going to wait for the rest of your classmates. Some of the groups, uh, they haven't finished yet, but time's up. Okay, how did you feel the questions? The questions were easy or difficult? What do you think? Uh-huh. Were the questions easy or difficult? Uh -huh. How did you feel the practice? Easy, difficult, 50-50? Oh my gosh. Difficult. Um, it's difficult. funny because it's... it's uh... It's interesting to know how is the future. <laughs> That's true. So I know that because of the time, not everybody could answer the questions, but listen, I already sent the questions on WhatsApp. So in your free time, try to practice. If you hire your classmate, if you see your classmate at work, so try to practice the questions, okay? Now, um, before I continue, I was checking the platform and I already know what the problem is. And there is a mistake. I'm going to report that mistake so people can fix it. So look at this. What happens is the sentence says the word staff. Okay, so the correct answer is like weekends off will be a good option to have a happy staff. That's the correct answer, but I don't know why, but in the exercise, the sentence, the correct answer, they don't say staff. They say employees. So that is the mistake. Instead of employees, the exercise should say 
staff. But if you put the word staff, the exercise says that is incorrect. But instead of a staff, you write employees, the answer is correct. So that is definitely a mistake of the platform because in the exercise, they don't say employees, they say staff, okay? So I'm going to report it, okay? So they can fix it. And I mean, in this case, I'm sorry, and I apologize for that mistake, okay? So in the exercise number four is employees, okay? So sorry for that, but they will fix it, no worries. Okay, before I continue, everybody stretch your arms again. I can see you a little bit stressed, let's relax. I'm going to check attendance. So remember, if you listen to your name, say present. So Abigail Mejia. Present. All right, Andrea Amalia. Atilio Ernesto. Atilio, Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Blanca Elizabeth Hernandez. Okay, Brandon Josué. Carlos Alberto. Present, Miss. All right. Celia Cristina. Present. Héctor Iván. Henry Alberto. Here I am. Thank you. Jorge Antonio. Present teacher. All right. Jorge Jonathan. Jorge Jonathan. Okay. Jose Ezequiel Guzman. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Antonio. Present teacher. All right. Juan Jose Herrera. Present teacher. Karen Rocío López. Present. Okay, Carla Sofía Argueta. Present. Okay, Carol Elizabeth. Carol Elizabeth. Kenia Elizabeth. Present teacher. Lady Xiomara. Present teacher. Luis Miguel. I'm here, teacher. Nelson Orlando. Salvador Ernesto. Sandra Abigail. Present. Stephanie Michelle. Present. Eh, Jan Siquelita. Present. Jose Marvin. Jose Marvin. Edwin Enrique. Present teacher. All right, very good. Thank you, everyone. Now let's continue. We are about to finish because we don't have like a lot of time. If you want to talk about possibilities in the future, we can use would be or could be. But also we can use another one. Can you see the presentation? Yes? Yes, teacher. All right, look. After would or could, we can also use a different verb. Instead of be, we can use another verb. Not only the verb to be, but also a different verb. But the verb will be in the base form, always. For example, imagine that you have a million dollars. Okay, <laughs> so with a million dollar, for example, I could, and I have the verb in the base form, I could buy a car, or I would travel to different countries. How about you guys with a million dollars? I uh -huh. could buy a 100 house for rent. Ah, very good. What else? What else? I don't think that 100 house, houses. <laughs> Remember, houses are very expensive nowadays. No, in Soyapango, no. 
<laughs> not, <laughs> okay, good point. That's a good point. What else? With a million dollars, uh huh. What would you do? Remember, you can use could or would, and then a different verb, always in the base form. I see only 10 houses. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he says, I could buy houses, for example. Uh-huh, everybody, how about you? What would you do? I will travel to around the world. Very good. Travel around the world. Uh huh. I call boy uh, buy a company. Mm, okay, I could buy a company. Nice, very nice. Anything else? Million dollars? I, I could save the fifty percent and spend the rest. <laughs> okay. Nice. So spend the rest. Imagine, guys, would you buy delicious food, clothes, a cell phone? I don't know. What else? What else would you do with a million dollars? I could invest the, the money. <laughs> invest the money? Mm -hmm. So you can generate more money, right? Sounds a good idea. So if you see, we are talking about possibilities in the future. Again, after would and could, you just need a verb. But the verb has to be in the base form, no changes. Now, I want you to complete the next exercise. I'm not sure if the time will be enough. I hope so. Look, we are going to work in teams. This exercise will be fast, okay? I want you to choose a famous company, the ones that you prefer, okay? It could be Apple or Nike, I don't know, a company, a famous company. And I want you to think about three benefits of working in that company. Create the sentences using would or could, and then you have to share it with the class. I will give you the example. I will think about Coca-Cola, okay? I will think about that company. What could be some of the benefits of working in that company? For example, ah, employees could drink Coke, for free. <laughs> Imagine that I am the boss, okay? And I want you to work for me. And I will tell you, if you work for me, these are the benefits. You could drink Coke for free. <laughs> That's not true, but you can invent. Also, another benefit is that all the employees would be in a safe environment. Okay, I promise. And another benefit is that the employees could grow in the company if they work hard. Oh, it's missing the letter Y. Okay, if they work hard. So if you work hard, you will get promoted or you will be promoted. So that is what I want you to do. Think about a company and imagine that you are the boss, you want people work for you, so you have to tell them three benefits. What, what could be some benefits? Is it clear, the activity, everyone? Yes? So imagine, you can use could or would, and you can use different verbs. Not only the verb to be, but a different verb, but always employees, in the base form. Uh -huh. Employees call take a uh, home office. All right, that's a good one. Employees could take home office or imagine if you want to generate another type of opportunities, do it. But everybody, please think about a famous company. We are going to have 
oh my gosh, we have free, oof, we have few times. So let's think about the company and only three benefits, okay? Is it clear the activity for everyone? Todos entienden what you will do? Yes. Yes? Okay. Yes. Again, I'm going to send that instructions on WhatsApp's group. And I want to everybody give ideas, please. Um, we are going to have only like eight minutes and then we are going to present. If we cannot finish to present, we are going to do it tomorrow, okay? So please save the information. Let's go to work. You will be in teams of three. So please, every person can say a sentence so it will be easier, okay? Everybody, let's go to work, please. No Spanish. Hi, Abigail. I'm going to send you to another member, okay? Porque solo son dos. I'm going to say Atilio. Atilio will be in this group too. Okay. Welcome, Atilio. <laughs> okay. What company choose to do this exercise? What do you think about Google? Google company. <laughs> or I Apple company, know. I don't know. I don't know. But I hear, I hear they're a good company. I can hear you. I think what? Google Google company sounds good. So just invent, imagine that you are the boss of Google, what will be the benefits of working in that company? Okay. The employees could have uh, game rooms in free times. Okay, so in your notebooks, Write the ideas because later you will present the sentences in the class, okay? So okay. write the ideas. Everybody do it. Not only Juan, Atilio and Abigail, copy the sentences too because I can ask you, okay? Go ahead. Okay. okay. Can you tell me another, another idea, Abigail or Atilio? Um, mm. how about IPP, IPP free? Uh, IP what? Um, how are IPPs free? Tener todas las aplicaciones gratis. Apps or apps, apps. okay. Apps, yes. The... Perdón. We choose uh, Tesla. Mm -hmm. Okay. Write the One. benefits on your notebooks because later you will present it into the class. Okay. Carlita. Carlita. Ah, okay. Nice. Carlita. <laughs> yes. Toast. Toast, Toast time. time. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Very good. <laughs> Era cool, ¿verdad? Cool, cool. sí. Cool. Uh, cool. Have cool. uh, free internet. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo se llama el internet de Tesla? Mm -hmm. Starling. Starling. Otro benefit. Another benefit. Mm -hmm. 
What? Free, free internet. Oh, podría ser. No, the space. <laughs> ah, space. Uh -huh. Travel to space with space. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, three benefits. The car, the internet, and the travel to space. Tesla is a company of Elon Musk. It's electric car. Oh, oh electric car. But the, in the in the sentence you type, it doesn't doesn't say Tesla, you know, Tesla. Ah, okay. Uh huh. Okay, this is Did you work there? Mr. Henry? Hello? Did you work there in the company? I or... don't I don't understand. In the second example for the Coca-Cola says all employees will be in a safe environment. In this case, if I work for an Apple, I think that I have a, a safe place in my work because, and I don't know, I think this a uh, very security company. Obey is study for family. ¿Cómo? Eh, que pagan los estudios. Mm. I know, I don't know how. How is the meaning? Becca? Scholar? Scholarship. Scholarship? Yes. Okay. Okay. Do you finish? Because we don't have more time, everyone. Yes. Yes? Do you have the three yes. benefits? Yes. This yes. is the last one. Excellent. That's the attitude. Let's go back to the main room, okay? Okay, teacher. Thanks. Okay, time's up, time's up. Okay, let's see, let's see, I'm just waiting, okay. Did you finish? The exercise, yes? Yes. Excellent, very good. So because of the time, we are not going to present the answers today. We are going to present the answers tomorrow, okay? So I hope everybody wrote the answers in your notebooks, okay? Because tomorrow I will ask in to the teams to present the benefits of the company that you chose. Now, unfortunately, we don't have more time. So just remember that at the end of the class, one of you has to stay. And the winner for today is... Da -da -da -da. Atilio Ernesto. So, Atilio. Yes. <laughs> Congratulations, Atilio, the winner. Oh, good. <laughs> so, he's the winner. Everybody, you can go, but Atilio, stay.
Okay, so guys, see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Don't forget to work on the platform. Okay, good night. See you. See you. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. Goodbye. Sonia. Okay, Atilio, usted se queda, please. You stay. Celia, revisa el chat. Yes. Adiós. <laughs> bye bye. Good night. Gracias. Good night. Good evening. Michael. Bye. See you tomorrow. <laughs>
ese es el área que más hay que practicar. Entonces, my recommendation is, si tiene pequeños ratitos libres, las preguntas que enviamos ahí al grupo para practice, vuélvalas a leer y piense, ¿cómo lo diría? Y trate de responder así, rapidito, sin pensarlo mucho. Entre más practiquemos, más lo vamos a ir mejorando. Eh, practiquemos el speaking aquí en la clase. Si yo le hago una pregunta, no tenga miedo. Usted responda así, con sus ideas. Trate de generarlas porque así es como vamos a ir aprendiendo. No se me ponga de que, ay, me voy a trabar, no sé cómo decirlo. No, nada. Dígalo y yo le voy a ir ayudando. ¿Ok? Ahí, esa es la mejor forma de aprender. No, correcto, yo hablo lo que entiendo. Excelente. Yo, yes. yo le contesto a, a, si se ha fijado, pero algunas veces uh, pienso que, que, que está equivocado, pero lo digo. Entonces, <risa> Vamos a ir esa, aprendiendo. Esa no, uh -huh. yes. Frustración si sí, no hay, si sí, eh, eh, quisiera ya, porque si sí veo que mis compañeros algunos ya mucho hablan. Y <risa> That's the idea. That's... Este año va a ser para mí. Excelente. Esa, esa, esa es la actitud. Digo, no, si, si usted sabe que es Tony, Tony speaks English. Mm -hmm. Ya, yeah. bueno, si vemos entonces, que hay, eh... si usted ve que hay compañeros que es como, hey, estos pueden más, tratemos de acercarnos a ellos ahí con chat, hey. Practiquemos un ratito, right? Entonces, tratemos, de, yo sé que por el hecho de que las clases son virtuales, como que eso nos afecta a no tener como un compañerismo más de cerca, right? Pero tratemos, bueno. tratemos la manera de ver cómo practicamos con esos compañeros que sentimos que ellos pueden. Cualquier duda que tenga, puede preguntarme a mí o también a ellos para que usted pueda practicar. Y ya que yo tiene... Creo que de eso sí. Ajá. ¿Ah? Diga, diga. No, ya que veo que acá... Compañeros de trabajo, traten de, de ver cómo hablan en su trabajo un poquito en inglés. Practiquen entre ustedes. Es correcto. Fíjese que creo que eso sí, nosotros somos mmm, bastante comunicativos. <risa> no tenemos pena, preguntamos. Excelente. Pero, eh, sí, nos mata. Fíjese que Luis... No, el, el tiempo nos come, pero porque trabajamos en, ¿cómo le diría? A través de terceros. Uh -huh. O sea, eh, es bien complicado porque yo quisiera tener, Luis, Luis Miguel habla mucho, uh -huh. pero ya venía con, con ese conocimiento. Entonces, pero ni con Luis podemos hablar pues porque algunas veces <risa> tiene sus compromisos y yo tengo los míos. Cuando él tiene yeah. tiempo, yo no lo tengo. Y, y así Igual con Henry, pero sí nos hemos dado el, 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 este, para este año como los, todos estábamos en la misma, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Con el parón. Solamente no practicamos porque sí en los anteriores me estaba usando Duolingo. Ok. Me ha, me ha ayudado mucho. That's great, that's great. Me um... ha ayudado. Y como no tiene, eh, entonces... Excelente, ¿no? He Hay que seguir practicando. De eso. Yes. Lo que pasa es que hasta en eso algunas veces... Uh -huh. All right. También en los breaking rooms. Aprovechemos. ¿Se le está escuchando algo cortadito? ¿Me escucha? Hello, hello. Correcto. Pero I understand. Ok, pero lo va a lograr. Y como me gusta esa hello, actitud, hello. ¿sí? sí, me, me escucha? escucha. Ok, perfecto. Yes. Ahora sí. Teacher. <ríe> ¿Me escucha? Yo sí lo escucho. Sí, sí, sí. Y es que también me cambié de residencia y aquí está algo cortada la señal. Mañana la reporto para ver si me pueden ayudar con, con la conexión, que creo que sí, eso es lo que me falló. Por eso ah. me, me sacó su. Okay, pero perfecto. ya es, es cuestión de inter... sí, okay. es la... Pero sí, sí, teacher, sí, yo voy a estar acá. Excelente. Gracias por el apoyo. No, es un placer. Y para y... <risa> <risa> no, come on, it's a pleasure. Así que tratemos de practicar. Entre más hablemos, por ejemplo, en los breaking rooms, tratemos de hablar lo más que podamos y sigamos así. Así con esa motivación, cuando vea que un compañero se desmotive, también ayúdalo, motívelo, porque yo veo que usted sí tiene bastante entusiasmo, así que. 
Espero que así estén todos. All right. Es correcto. Ahorita acabo de, de estar con Jorge, ¿verdad? No, Juan. Ajá. Sí, Juan. Lo veo con actitud. Eh, tuvimos conversación y creo que vamos para adelante. Excellent. That's the idea. Very good. Siga. Eh, no olvide trabajar en la plataforma, please, para que vayamos yes. avanzando. Así sí. que, bueno. Entonces, terminamos acá. Gracias, Atilio. Espero verlo mañana Gracias. en clase. Ok, no se nos quede. Así que, See have tomorrow. a good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye.